Hey guys, um, there's a lot of chaos and a lot of confusion out there about what is happening with the Lauren Southern and Stefan Molyneux uh, event that was scheduled for August the 3rd. And so um, I've got a lot of messages, a lot of people wondering what's going on and I'm not gonna respond to everyone. I just thought I'm gonna do a live video. I'm gonna point people here. I'm not gonna post a wall of text that no one is going to read. Um, and I just wanna say as well that I'm not the organizer, so don't send me all your angry messages uh, as well. Uh, I've just placed a few phone calls to get the up-to-date info on to uh, what is going on and what the plan is. Um, so first we should talk a little bit about what happened to get the event canceled. Uh, so first up was the Federation of Islamic Associations New Zealand, uh, basically an Islamic fascist organization that wants uh, uh, Sharia law in New Zealand. Uh, they control the, the halal certification on, on a lot of uh, cons consumer goods. So all New Zealanders basically pay this sort of Islamic tax to them to fund their mosques and their schools and so on. And of course they want blasphemy laws in New Zealand as well. And that's where they wrote this letter to Immigration New Zealand saying, hey, can we ban Lauren Southern? Uh, because she said some mean things about Muslims and she'll say mean things about Muslims and um, we can't have that, you know, we'll, that'll make us really sad. Um, and, uh, and of course the, the, the incident they were referring to was, the, uh, was where she was in the UK, she exposed the hypocrisy of the kind of rainbow Islam left-wing alliance where she distributed these fake sort of LGBT Islam leaflets where she said, you know, Allah is gay, lesbian, transgender, Allah is for everyone. Uh, and of course that's not true, that's blasphemy, uh, and for that she was banned from the UK because it was uh, determined her presence was not conducive to the public good, uh, which basically means you know, blasphemy, you know, some certain people who won't be mentioned might riot if you, uh, if you come back. Um, and you, somebody might want to link the video uh, from her channel down below in the comments, um, you can watch the whole thing for yourself if, if you like. Um, that's basically inc the incident that, that um, has triggered the Islamic Association to want her banned. Um, and then the other uh, side of things was from a, a group called uh, Peace Action, or basically a violent communist group uh, who threatened violence uh, against, the, uh, in, against the event. And it's one of the, it's basically the main reason why the event pulled out, uh, although there's another reason, which is Phil Goff, but we'll get to that later. Um, they basically said, you know, you know, the staff no longer feel safe and we can't guarantee people safety in the event because of the violence. Um, they should really have, have just, you know, got to beef up security. So I think that's a pathetic excuse. Um, and I've seen some of these, uh, these peace action people in, uh, uh, in action before and they're not a real threat at all. Uh, you know, uh, basically the dregs of society and, and they're not going to really cause a real riot or a real threat. So it's just a lame excuse to get the event cancelled. And they've obviously got lots of friends uh, in the Labour caucus and the Green caucus who are all Marxists and um, you know, they can pull strings to, to basically say, oh, there's going to be violence. Um, and I already mentioned Phil Goff. He's basically the, the third piece there. Um, he put out a statement saying that any, uh, essentially saying that any right-wing or conservative groups uh, would be banned from speaking uh, in Auckland venues, uh, ratepayer funded venues, uh, basically no more diversity of speakers allowed because he wants you, he says, I'm for free speech, you know, Phil Goff is for free speech, but he's for free speech in the same way that Adolf Hitler was for free speech, is you can say whatever you want as long as you agree with Phil Goff and Phil Goff is happy with what you have to say. That's what, you know, the kind of free speech that Phil Goff uh, is for. Uh, and yeah, so that's basically, long story, that's why it got cancelled. Um, there's also a lot of fake news out there about Laura and Stefan, uh, um, Basically, all the stuff you read about them being far right, uh, all a lot of nonsense. They're very peaceful. They've never threatened violence against anybody. Um, and if you want a, a sort of an introduction to the stuff that Lauren Southern does, is I would suggest going to watch the Farmlands documentary. Um, and hopefully, someone can link that in the comments as well. Uh, it's a pretty sobering uh, uh, film on what's happening in South Africa at the moment. Uh, and that's the kind of activism that that Lauren Southern uh, is doing. Um, yeah. So, of course, the reason you're watching this video is you want to know what's happening. And basically, I can't say too much because there's um, legal action being taken uh, against uh, uh, Auckland Council and Immigration and so on to make sure that Lauren's uh, visa can be approved. So that's basically the number one thing is uh, Lauren's visa. Um, and the number two thing is getting the venue reinstated. Obviously, um, probably, hopefully, against the law, what Phil Goff has done, and we can get the access to the venue reinstated, we can get equal access for all uh, speakers uh, across the political spectrum, 
uh, to speak at ratepayer funded venues. Um, um, yeah, so um, it has also been announced, and it was a couple of days ago, that if all everything falls through, there will be some kind of live stream from Australia. Um, we will be hosting, so Right Minds and uh, other groups, we will be hosting viewing parties and so on, so you st will still will be able to meet up um, and, um, you know, we'll make sure that, uh, you know, censorship doesn't win, we'll make sure that the fascists who are trying to make this event not happen uh, will fail no matter what. Um, but the real goal is to get the event back on, uh, and that is, is just waiting on legal action, and there's nothing we can really say about that. I mean, well, I, think I'm, I can't get any info, I can't tell you anything more than I know because I don't know anymore, and, and I can't find out any more info on that either. Um, so it's all in the hands of the lawyers, um, so patience. Uh, and finally, um, we do have um, some free speech rallies planned for Saturday the 14th, that's next Saturday um, at midday in Auckland, in Christchurch, and in Wellington. Uh, if you go to the Right Minds uh, Facebook page, you click on the events, you'll see all three of those listed there. Um, or you can just search for uh, Free Speech Protest Auckland, Free Speech Protest Wellington, Free Speech Protest Christchurch, and you'll find those pages. Um, and they were initially going to be for uh, Tommy Robinson in the UK, who's been jailed for a similar, you know, a different incident. Uh, there, but he's good friends uh, with both Lauren Southern and uh, Stephen, uh, sorry, Stephen Molyneux. Um, and uh, so I think we will have a good um, rally here, both to uh, get free speech reinstated in the UK, uh, throughout the Western world, and especially now in New Zealand, as it's very, very clear that free speech really is under threat. And that's all.